Hello, welcome to Command Modern Era Naval Operations. Today we're going to be testing the survivability of the Kirov class battlecruiser, specifically the Admiral Nakamov and his 2019 configuration. We're going to attack the Nakamov with different waves of American strike aircraft. We'll start with some of the most challenging targets and then proceed to some of the easiest. So initially we're going to attack her with a growler using the next generation jammer. And a small force of F-18s with El Rassum, if that's how you pronounce it. So, let's begin. All right, we found the ship. We're going to unload our missiles. This is not a terribly effective volley. It would be better if I had uh, ordered them to all fire on the most direct path to the target instead of taking this sort of uh, you know, detour. Now let's switch to the Mac Nakamal's perspective. It knows it's being jammed, but it can't see anything. It's moving north at 20 knots. So the reason we're picking the Nakamov as opposed to the Pyotr Veliki in its 2023 configuration is the radar setup. Um, as was pointed out to me, the uh, Nakamov has an advanced surface uh, air search radar, whereas the Veliki in its 2023 uh, variant does not. It actually has its old, unmodernized radar. Which is a bit strange, but well, there you have it. Yeah, here we go, 2023. Um, yeah, early early 60s technology radar. So that's that's not that's not very good. Um, if we switch into universal perspective, um, we see the Growler and the missiles are starting to branch out. We'll follow the progress here a little bit. Nakamov still doesn't see anything. Switch back to the USN side. Might be worth slowing down a bit so our growler doesn't get too close. Nah. Still 80 miles out. There we go. We'll slow down. Akamov still sees nothing. Picks up, picks up our group, group seven, uh, our our strike fighters leaving the area. So he has some idea of what happened. And here we go, first contact. Missile detected, fifteen nautical miles. This isn't actually the closest group. It's actually detecting the second closest group. So we're going to let the ship defend itself. Maybe I should have kept the Growler uh, moving faster so it would be closer in. So Nakamov's tracking the, the incoming missiles, uh, but not terribly well. It, it can't fully lock onto them. 
these are their stealth characteristics and the intense jamming. There we go. Additional missiles detected. Now this time it's seen the closer group. Well, one of the closer group. There, it sees the other. One of them slips away again. Missiles have gone active radar. They're homing in on the jamming source. Can Akimov engage this guy? No, no directors are able to illuminate this target. There we go. This this looks like they have, it should have some pretty clear shots to these guys now. No directors can illuminate the target. The missiles now inside their, their radar lock on cone. It's possible they've started evasive maneuvers. So it's really up to the Nakamov's guns, probably, to defend against these. It's just... Oh, here we go. Gargoyle, out at, looks like, less than a mile. And let's look at the log. 20% probability to decoy by the missile, fails. Uh, base probability to hit of 80%. Target modifier of 20, minus 20% for signature, down to 60 Random terminal maneuver reduces by 50%. Final probability of hit is only 30% for the gargoyle against the incoming missile. Now Nakamov opens up with her guns. Guns miss. Guns miss. Guns miss. Boom. First missile hits. 32% damage, fire and flooding. Second missile hits. 60.7% damage. Nakamov's engaging these other missiles. Scores one hit. Now with inside minimum range. Nakamoth's been hit again. 88% damage. She's she's basically finished now. Uh, if we look at the damage control. The, uh... More missiles are coming in. Um, radars are... Eh, radars are actually... She can probably still defend herself to some extent, just not very well. We speed this up, she gets sunk. So I think this first video demonstrates pretty clearly that at least when you're using NGJ and LRASM, uh, any ship with a uh, SAR uh, missile defense system is in deep, deep trouble. They're just not going to be able to get a strong enough signature to shoot back, you know, apparently. Uh, so with that, I'll close this particular demonstration.